the next one we're going to look at will be our um, selecting a master map. So this is where um, this is I primarily use where you would say we've got a plan application on a particular site um, and we can select a master map um, polygon to query what the information is on that particular area. So I'm just going to switch to our um, OS premium data set, which highlights the uh, master map polygons themselves. And if I click on our select master map button, what you'll see is if I click over a polygon, the system tells us it's searching and then comes back and presents us with the toid of that particular uh, master map polygon. If we were to select over multiple different toids, so I've selected right over the corner of a building, what you'll be able to see is it presents us with a list of different toids that are available. And if we were to select one of them, it would go away and select that particular one. So I'm going to select the polygon we've got in front of us. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to search that item. So this again, the system goes away, presents us with the information that is found for particular overlays that we've got um, set up. And what I'm going to do is, as we've done with others, I'm going to save those results. I'm going to download that PDF. I'm going to call this uh, master map this time. <clears throat> and then what we'll do once that PDF is saved, we will then open up that PDF and we'll be able to see the sites constraints report. And again, we've got the we've got the front page tells us the numbers of results. And then for each individual result, we can see the items that have been found on that particular um, data set.